Dr. Ritchie, this one uh, comes out of the University of Miami. Uh, so some students there accused of being racist for a TikTok video they posted. They produced it um, on, on one of their non-affiliated sites. It seemed like a good idea at the time, but uh, take a look. Cause some of the white kids on my school wanna be racist. I'm gonna just give y'all the platform to be so. And I'm gonna post a video y'all thought was so funny when you posted it. it what is an animal that is not already on campus that you would like to see on campus? A gorilla. All of these fairs. My concern is why y'all felt so comfortable posting it. Like, you know there's black people that go to your school. You know there's, it's a, it's a site like TikTok where it literally can end up on anybody's For You page. And y'all still decided to go along and not only film the video, but be dumb enough to post it. Y'all are so dumb if you don't think that bland racism is still a thing because there's videos like this all over the internet. But respectfully, that's not gonna happen at our school. And I hope that whoever is in charge of University of Miami and handling situations like this sees this and realizes how not okay it is and how many black people are very offended by this video. Well, they are gonna say it, the story went viral. It did because that woman, her name is Sky Solomon, put it up, found the story on daily.com. And what happened here was the kids say they were doing this for a marketing class. Um, and they had the cutaway of a black man there who is later identified to be a professor. Um, it would have just been another camp video, but they decided to do that. Now, I wanna show you what at critters, at cane critters rather is same because they took down the video after it went viral and they posted this statement later, took down the video. They even took the whole TikTok down, but now it's back up. Um, they claim the post was composed of two unaffiliated clips, campus related animal question, and then a smirk from a man pleased by the interviewer's position in a tree. So they're basically saying, hey, we just put up a lot of videos. We spliced things together and this was a horrible accident. Nonetheless, we're upset. And we're embarrassed by this. We're just a team of students who created the account. Again, as a class a project, they say, which is absolutely ridiculous because the real answer is they thought it was funny because somebody back there is racist. And I wanna know what you think about it, Dr. Ritchie, because I think Sky Solomon um, did some good work here. The yeah. school's reacting. Uh, they've been you know, on top of it. They say they're investigating. They might have violated the student conduct code. You know, um, I think. The college students are lying about, you know, how this happened, uh, and also, an institution has a responsibility to protect students and faculty from discriminatory practices. As a college professor, I have to take basically this adherence exam every year, and it goes over the protocols. Well, one protocol is that the institution has a responsibility to protect from active discrimination. And if you do not take measures to do so, you can then lose all of your federal funding that goes to the school. That's one dynamic. Here's another one. I like how the young lady decided to approach this. You have to check it exactly as it is. I'm glad she did it. We need more people to continue to engage in the art of exposure and storytelling. Well done. If we, could if we could show the graphic of what the school is saying, the Miami Hurricane newspaper, because I agree 100%. The school is reacting, racism and hate have no place at the University of Miami. Deeply committed, they say, to sustaining a culture of belonging where every individual is valued and supported. And they say, hey, we appreciate they took responsibility, um, but we're investigating this to determine if there were any violations of the student rights and responsibilities that you are aware of on your end as a professor. And we'll see if they face consequences here or if somebody's gonna believe that lame excuse of it was an accident. We didn't mean to edit the black man. By the way, the other people in the comment section who are outraged say that black man they did the cutaway is a professor at right. the university at the right. U. That is correct. And here's the other dynamic, really interesting connection to this story. You will have to work hard to make sure Institutions are not defined by your most, let's say, disagreeable individuals like these folks, right? So I appreciate the fact that she is refusing to allow her educational experience, her school to be defined 
by these people. Good job on that.